And I've heard that before the drug test failure, both you and I were actually thinking of going back to uh, NWA anyways. Was there any truth to that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we were going back. I mean, we had already negotiated a deal okay. uh, for three quarters of a million dollars. And, uh, uh, and then I flunked the drug test and uh, I got suspended and we'd already given our notice. We were already, I mean, I got suspended November 2nd and we were leaving after Survivor Series. So I missed Survivor Series and the rest of that month. Arn went back and uh, the, the... Had they even been testing for drugs at that long at that point? Because it seems like in well, the 80s there was... Well, drugs, plural, is, is not exactly what they were testing for. They were testing for cocaine usage. There was no steroid testing, obviously, in that time. No. And, uh, you know, if you remember back with, they had had some incidences with people uh, at airports and hotels and stuff like that where people were having roid rage and uh, cocaine, anybody that's ever done cocaine makes you kind of paranoid. Well, paranoid and real strong guys <laughs> don't, 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 don't flow well together. So... Uh, you know, if you were on the roids and you were taking sedatives and other things, I, I don't know of anybody ever testing for anything like that. Right. But they were testing for cocaine, and that's what I flunked. And, um, and it, was, it was my fault, and it, it had great impact on uh, my career because it was over with. You were at your peak, really. And, oh, yeah. And I was 35 uh, years old. And... Um, it was kind of silly for nobody to hire me after that, but I'm the only guy that ever flunked a drug test that never got hired back. <laughs> but me flunking the drug test is what caused me to meet Christ and changed my life and got me to the point where I am today. And uh, that would never be, uh, never have happened without that. Why did WCW hold that against you, even though they were a different company? Don't know. That's true. They, they'd have to, uh, when, when everybody that they worked for, I think they tested 38 guys and had 36 flunked a, flunked a drug test right. right after that. And uh, so. Could have possibly been a grudge. Over don't, don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Jim Hurd, you know, when they had bought, when Turner bought the company and, all that kind of stuff, and you start working into corporate stuff. And speaking of drug, drug test failures, I just have to ask you this. Uh, Brock Lesnar, I'm sure you've heard, recently failed his uh, UFC drug tests, and apparently WWE is still going to let him perform at uh, SummerSlam because I guess there seems to be a different deal for him because he's such a big star. It's okay to screw up, and second chances are available. And if you allow Christ into your life, uh, he'll change your heart and change the direction of your life. And just as he did that for me. And that is still possible for anybody watching this, talking about wrestling. Uh, if your life isn't going where you want it to go, you just do what I did. I said five words. I said, Jesus, take over my life. And he did and took me in a complete different direction. And it wasn't back to wrestling, which is if you, if you think about everybody that's flunked a drug test, and I think I've already said it, I'm the only one that didn't go back to, back to the right. business after flunking a drug test. So that's not the, the, the fatal shot, right. but God had a different plan for me. And uh, I'm fortunate at 62, I can still swing a golf club instead of getting my hips operated on. And, and uh, I like it very much.